What's up guys, today I wanna to show you how you can use the new Make extension in the Google Workspace Marketplace. So this guy right here, which is specific for Google Sheets. So you hook it up to this module right here, this Watch Actions, Watch Changes module, which spits out a webhook for you. You copy and paste that over into your Google Sheet. So first you have to go up to Extensions, go to Add-ons, Get Add-ons, it'll take you to the Marketplace. And then all you have to do is type in Make, hit Enter, and you'll see this guy right here. Go ahead and install that into your workspace, your Google workspace. Go back into your sheet and you might have to refresh your sheet just so that you can see it in the extensions, which will show up down here. So make and then settings. And this window over here on the right hand side will pull up and that's where you paste in your web hook. So this web hook from the watch changes module you paste it in right there. And the whole purpose of this is so that it watches for any changes in, let's say a specific column. So in my example, I want to watch for any changes in column B. So I say B2 through B11,000, the sheet name is master right there, that sheet name, not the spreadsheet name, the actual sheet name. So paste in those two things. And now when I hit save, every time I go over into this actions column right here and say for my use case, run Appify Scraper, it will kick off this automation right here and run my Appify Scraper, which scrapes leads from Google Maps. So it's instantaneous. That's the whole purpose of this module right here. If you guys want more customization with how you want this trigger, oops, how you want this trigger in make.com to basically execute, then I recommend using a Google Apps script. And I have these or this video available for you guys inside the community. I'll leave a link as well to the YouTube video down below for you guys. But I basically walk you through how to go about setting up this module right here with your web hook and using a Google Apps script. So you have two methods now for this specific module. Again, Google Sheets, watch changes. The add-on from make.com, the extension is probably the easiest route. If you want to go about that, you just install it, go to settings and then configure it right here and you're good to go. The Google app script is still easy, but it's a few more steps. Thanks guys.